And you thought Ready Player One was the ultimate Easter egg hunt. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 things you missed in Wreck-It Ralph 2. Get rid of belly fat using this one weird trick. Sassy housewives want to meet you. They do. Want to get rich playing video games? Before we begin, we publish new content every day. So be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're taking a look at cameos, in-jokes, and little details that you might have overlooked in Ralph Breaks the Internet. We'll try to keep any spoilers to a minimum, but keep in mind we'll be touching upon a few plot points. Number 10. Urkel Mr. Urkel Wow! You call me Mr. Unless not, you don't know me. Looking for answers and a particular steering wheel, our heroes consult a search engine named Nosemore, who shares the same voice actor as the first film's King Candy, Alan Tudyk. With an aggressive autocomplete function, Nosemore jumps to the conclusion that Ralph and Vanellope must be looking for Steve Urkel, who was played by Jaleel White on Family Matters, airing its first eight seasons on the Disney-owned ABC television network. Um, Umbrella, Umbridge, Umami? No. No Azard, no Doubt, no Edstrom, <sighs> Ergonomics, Urban Outfitters, Urkel. Funnily enough, White actually voiced legendary video game character Sonic the Hedgehog on occasion in the 90s. Yeah, awesome. Like somebody I just met. And though the blue blur actually does make an on-screen appearance in Wreck-It Ralph 2, voiced by his voice actor of several years, Roger Craig Smith, we can't help but wonder if this was the filmmaker's way of tipping the hat to Sonic's OG voice actor. Wifey? It's actually pronounced Wi-Fi, Ralph. Number 9. YouTube Voice Actors The filmmakers clearly did their homework on internet culture, as they actually enlisted real-life YouTube personalities to lend their voices. Glozell Green, also known as Glozell Lanite Simon, has accumulated over 4 million subscribers through a rapping, stand-up, and interviews. In Ralph Breaks the Internet, she can briefly be heard as Little Debbie, a member of Shank's crew in Slaughter Race. Colleen Ballinger, who rose to popularity with her character Miranda Sings, also makes a cameo as herself. Just when you thought Ballinger couldn't possibly be more animated, she becomes a literal cartoon character who loses access to her internet. What? The film additionally includes appearances from Tiffany Herrera, also known as I Has Cupquake, Danny Fernandez, and Flula Borg as Yes's assistant maybe. Number 8. The Anti-Princess Song Whereas the other Disney princesses dream of living happily ever after in a magical kingdom, Vanellope wishes to spend the rest of her days in Slaughter Race, a game overrun with fast cars, explosions, and sharks deadlier than the ones from Amity Island. Vanellope expresses her desires through a tune entitled A Place Called Slaughter Race, which is anything but a traditional Disney princess song. What makes this especially hilarious is that the song's music was composed by Alan Menken, the same man who gave us Part of Your World, A Whole New World, and others. On top of that, Sarah Silverman sings this song with Gal Gadot, who's known for playing another unconventional princess. Yeah, well, where I'm from, that's called slavery. Number 7. Hey Nong Man Hey Nong Man even when he's given the most minor of roles, actor Jason Manzukas never fails to produce comedic gold. During the Oh My Disney sequence from Ralph Breaks the Internet, Manzukas voices an obnoxious fan at a Q&A session who has a bone to pick with Baby Groot. The scene is only made funnier when you consider that Manzukas' character is named Hainong Man. For those who don't know, Hainong Man is a rather niche reference to comedy Bang Bang, which started as a podcast that inspired a TV series of the same name. Mansukas has frequently appeared on the podcast where he coined this catchphrase, which derived from mispronouncing the phrase, Hang On Man. Oh, I like it, because so you I... look Arab. Hang on, man. <laughs> what did you say, what Hang Nong Man? I said, Hang On Man. <laughs> hang, hang Nong on. Man. Hang Nong Man. <laughs> <laughs> New t-shirt. Number six. Fortnite references. Although it's still a relatively new game, Fortnite has exploded into a cultural phenomenon that's dominated pop culture ever since its launch in 2017. Several references to the Battle Royale game can even be found in this Disney movie. In one of the subtler instances, a Fortnite, as in a period of two weeks, is cleverly mentioned. As Yes explains how video game characters tend to rake in lots of likes, you can spot a familiar battle bus on her tablet. The most ingenious Easter egg of all comes when Ralph performs the floss dance, which initially stemmed from Russell Backpack Kid Horning and reached another level of popularity when it popped up in Fortnite. Number 5. 
Can't understand Merida. I gave my mommy a cake. She turned into a big bear. My Aldrin tried to do it in. If that's not a pure mess, I don't know what is. Vanellope isn't the only Disney princess who's something of an outsider. Once again voiced by Kelly MacDonald, Merida from Brave tells Vanellope how she turned her mother into a bear after feeding her cursed cake. Well, at least that's what we think she was trying to get across. Merida's kind of hard to understand, which is because, quote, she's from the other studio, according to Anna. Merida was the first Pixar character to be featured among Disney's official princess line, so it's not surprising that her words got lost in translation. And considering that Brave beat the original Wreck-It Ralph for the Best Animated Feature Oscar, this could also be seen as a playful jab towards the competition. Sorry, I don't speak bear. Number 4. Stan Lee The Oh My Disney sequence packs in one cameo after another, although none was more poignant than Stan Lee's. While making her way through the haven of Disney properties, Vanellope almost bumps into one of Marvel's most influential artists. This isn't the first time Lee has appeared in a Disney movie, as he lent his voice and likeness to Fred's dad in Big Hero 6. I wear him front. I wear him back. I, I go, go inside, inside out. out. Then, then I go, I go front, front and, and back. back. Dad! What stands out about Lee's cameo in Ralph Breaks the Internet, however, is that he passed away at age 95 just over a week before the film's release. Lee sadly didn't get to see the film released before his death, but this cameo further demonstrates why his legacy will last forever. Number 3. Disney Characters Everywhere Do animals talk to you? No. Were you poisoned? No. Cursed? No. Kidnapped, Kidnapped or enslaved? No. Are you guys okay? Should I call the police? As mentioned before, Penelope's trip to Oh My Disney is overrun with icons under the Mouse House's umbrella, but you'd need a keen eye to catch them all. Upon arriving, Vanellope not only crosses paths with Eeyore, but also spots the likes of Dumbo, Iron Man, Kermit the Frog, Eve, R2-D2, and Mickey Mouse, just to name a few. One area features attractions dedicated to Baymax and Buzz Lightyear, with a user who looks an awful lot like Darth Maul passing by. On the run from Stormtroopers, Vanellope even encounters Nick Wilde, Grumpy, Hey Hey the Rooster, Tinkerbell, and Peter Pan's Shadow. Because I have to grow up tomorrow. Grow up! Gee, this place almost makes the Kingdom Hearts games look underpopulated by comparison. Number 2. The Batman Theme It's no secret that Disney owns Marvel, which is DC's biggest rival on the superhero front. Likewise, for decades, Disney has competed with Warner Brothers, DC Entertainment's parent company. So, naturally, we never expected a DC character like Batman to be referenced in anything Disney-related. When the Disney princesses transition into their casual clothing, though, the music cue played sounds just like Neil Hefty's iconic composition from the 1960s Batman show. The Adam West series notably wasn't produced by Warner Brothers, but 20th Century Fox, which Disney is expected to officially acquire in 2019. It may not be a full-on cameo from the Caped Crusader, but it's probably the closest Disney will ever get. Number 1. After Credits The bunny gets the pancake. Despite being heavily advertised, the scene involving a pancake-eating bunny and a traumatized baby Moana was excluded from the film's plot. The clip did surface in the credits, however. Discussing this scene, animator Michelle Robinson stated, quote, it was meant to be part of the whole montage where Ralph and Vanellope explore the internet, and then when the story shifted, it didn't really make sense anymore. But we just loved it so much that we wanted to make sure it was still shared. The credits also featured a sneak peek of Frozen 2. But instead of Elsa singing Let It Go, Ralph trolled us with Never Gonna Give You Up. We've heard of Rick rolling, but Ralph rolling? Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.